Okay, so, hi guys, um, this is another video for me, and, uh, first of all, if you're wondering what I've been working on, um, I've been painting somewhat more on the Deathwing banner, but, uh, not that much, I've really been just doing other stuff, and, um, basically, I made a new army list, which is, I got it right here on the table, but first I can see it. here it is. Um, well, it's not exactly as it says in, on the paper because I didn't have all the models, but uh, um, let's see. This one is exactly as it is. It's Azrael, uh, with Shafter Banner, Command Squad, what? Yeah, the Shafter Banner, um, Apothecary, Champion, and two Power Weapon. Um, veterans. Um, then, as troops, I have three ten man tactical squads with glass cannons and plasma cannons. No, plasma guns. And then I'm supposed to have a land raider, but uh, I don't have one right now, so uh, I'm just using my uh, unpainted predator, predator as an um it counts ass. So let's say and then we have a five man devastator squad with the uh, as you see it's supposed to be three last cannons and one plasma cannon, but I didn't have last cannons, so I went with the uh, three plasma cannons and one melt multi melta. So yeah. And that and also there is three Razorbacks with twin linked lightning claws, but one is just a rhino because I didn't have any more. Uh, did I say just say lightning claws? Whatever, I meant uh, glass cannons, twin linked glass cannons. Um, one doesn't have the glass cannons, so, so it's just a rhino right now, but that is uh, seven, 17, uh, my 1750 point list. Um, so here you guys can see it. most of it is obviously not painted and there's a bunch of old models here as well you can see here is one of this uh, Ezreal uh, which I painted a very long time ago this is going to be the champion um, one of my veterans from the other squad and here's the banner really old model that I did um, been shot in the chest, but um, whatever, he's still holding the banner high. Um, and you can see it's a really crappy banner as well. I just did a line for a third company and uh, you know, put some icons and stuff. You know, <laughs> it looks really bad, but it's the only one I got right now, so um, yeah. And then we have like these two guys. This, oops, and these guys uh, that are the two other veterans. Um, then we have the uh, first um, tactical squad, where actually most models are painted now. Surprise, huh? <laughs> couldn't wait. Couldn't see that coming. Not in my army. <laughs> Um, yeah, but anyway, um, then there's, um, the Devastator Squad, you can see this guy looks pretty cool, with, uh, uh, glowing plasma thing, um, and we have a second tactical squad, and this is one thing I really, I, honestly, I think this is the third because if you look at the sergeants, they have number one and number two. So, there you go. And those are the squads, and here are the tanks. This is uh, one I recently painted. Um, as you can probably tell, it's, it used to be a, um, a ultramarine tank. That I repainted it to try to try out the new color scheme. And I just put 
now I've just put down the first layer but um, we'll see how it turns out and this is the old one which I painted like five years ago or something you see some dirt on it and yeah it looks alright I guess um, and there's the predator that is the land raider right now and then there is obviously Ezekiel's tank even though Ezekiel isn't in the army right now so uh, the point of this video uh, really is um, I'm uh, gonna play a 2000 point game um, this weekend uh, and I'm wondering what what do you guys think I should put in the army as well because uh, I really don't know what what else to I I'm I'm not asking for any changes in the army because I like the way it is right now I want to test it out see how it works and and uh, but uh, what what do you think I should use the rest of the uh, what is it the two two hundred sixty points for uh, I've been thinking of putting in some raven wings because I got some bikers just standing there or maybe I can put in um, like two dreadnoughts I think I can fit, can fit in because uh, I got two dreadnoughts uh, that's probably the one I've been thinking about putting in um, the most or however you should say that I don't know uh, but um, yeah and obviously I could put, put in some terminators as well but uh, I mean, uh, they would have to deep strike in because I got the um, Astral Squad in the Land Raider thingy, this guy. <laughs> um, and I don't know, I, I've heard lots of people say that command squads are really bad and you shouldn't take them and stuff like that. But I mean, I think this command squad seems really good. I mean, um, First of all, there's Asriel, um who's a pretty good, decent character, a little, a little bit too point heavy. If yeah, but uh, it's alright, I guess. And well, if you you got the Apothecary, which which gives you feel no pain, which always is useful. And then with the Chapter Banner, uh, they get uh, I think they get fearless and. Uh, uh, one one plus attack to every model in within 12 inches so uh, that makes this a really heavy hitting heavy hitting force and uh, obviously we got three veterans with the uh, power weapons and I don't know if they can have storm shields uh, or at least combat shields but if they can I'm gonna play it as they do, and um, and yeah. Hang on a second. Oh, anyway, the guys. Um, you know, just my dad want want wanted something, uh, but uh, I gotta go soon, so um, I'm just gonna finish this up. On I I think the command squad is really good. Seems really good at the paper, you know. But uh, we'll see how it works. In in game, so to say, but um, so guys, tell tell me what uh, what you think I should put in the army and let me know, cause uh, I really don't know what I, what I'm gonna pick. So, well, see you guys. Close up on Ashrail. There you go. Um, well, see you guys. Take care. Bye.